Okay. All right, our first density demo is going to be icebergs and oil slicks. So thinking about what we already know about oil and what we know about water, I want you to make a prediction of what will happen to the ice when I put it into these two cups. Okay. One of these, I'm going to put ice into both of these cups. One has an oil and the other one has water. All right. Oil smells good. So I'm not going to tell you which is which. I think I know. So you use a text box. If you need help on how to make a text box, let me know. Do the I. All right, so when your prediction is done, all right, are we ready? Everybody get their prediction in? Not yet, not yet. Which one's oil? She said she didn't tell you. I'm not going to tell you which one is oil. Okay, one of them is oil, one of them is water. I know it's one of oil. And we're going to put the water. ice we... into it. The one on the right is definitely oil because it's not wobbling as much. Hey, nice observation. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you ready, Gun? The water is in the right. 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 You're in Seesaw. Yeah. I'm ready. Oh, okay. You got it? Yeah. Tell me go when you're ready. Go. 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 It's definitely. Go. 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 No, no. Yep, that's water. That's water. It's, it's gonna, gonna go it's in gonna the oil. The oil. No. You think so? No. No, no. 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 It's gonna sink. Oh, oh, oh. oh. it sinks. Let's go. Okay. It's because it's water. All right. So the first part, what you're going to do is you're gonna write down, does the ice float? And you're gonna have to be specific because it floats in one of the liquids and it does not float in the other. And you're gonna to have to say what you believe. And then we're going to move on to the next demo while we wait to see if the ice melts. Okay, so just get in your observations if the ice floats and then we're going to move on to the next one. We will come back to this one. Does the ice melt? Uh, not what do you see in the cup yet? The ice melts in the water. Or well, one ice does. Okay. When you are done writing down your observations of if the ice floats, you can move on to the next one. Dancing raisins. Wait, does the ice Dancing raisins. Dancing raisins. Okay, so what I'm going to do for dancing raisins, if I'm going too fast, tell me slow down. Just go really fast so we can get normal. You shouldn't have any. First period finished. All right, so for dancing raisins, we're going to put Sprite into the graduate cylinder. And then I'm going to put raisins in. What will happen to the raisins when we put them in the soda? I think they'll dance. Don't, don't, don't volunteer your answers. Just put them into your prediction. So you'll make a text box right here. And you're going to put in your prediction as to what's going to happen to the raisins. Brighten it. Yep. Put four raisins. I said it will grow legs and dance. <laughs> Does anybody need more time for their prediction? No. Okay. That's fine. Grow legs. They're gonna dance to ice. Dance to. So back when, oh gosh, it was back when the bears were really good. The California raisins. Yeah when they won the Super Bowl. The California. California raisins 
were really popular and uh, they would come out and dance. You could get them in McDonald's, you know, the Happy Meals, you get the little, they look just like this. Long time ago. Hey. All right, so I'm gonna put the raisins in. I told you they would start dancing on real legs. I know. They grow and now we wait. Okay, so start your observations. I just heard an observation. We put the raisins into the soda. Where did they go? Okay, what does that tell you about the density? That's right. Okay, so I'm, I'm just posing questions. You don't need to answer them out loud. Answer them in your document. Oh, did you see that? Yeah. It came back. Okay, there's one back up at the top. I got it. I think it's just going to keep going. So originally, when I first put them in, they sank to the bottom. Then it came up. That's Why? Crazy, man. So think yeah. about that. Explain it. Why are the raisins coming back up? Because they drew legs. Yes. So that's under our observations. What happened to the raisins when put in the soda? They sank to the bottom. The raisins? Then... Obviously, at least one of them came up. Keep watching, more should come up. Why are the raisins coming up and down? Explain why this happens. I think there was something else we saw. Never mind. Yo, this is so Oh no, you know what? The table's crooked. Okay, that raisin oh, yeah, fell yeah, back yeah. down to the bottom. Oh, look, another raisin's oh. coming up. No way. Two. Oh, two raisins are coming up. Yo, oh, this is the raisin. Oh. They're they're legs. Legs. oh, it's going back down. They're they're like no. It's literally a lava lamp. But with raisins. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of the science track. Kind of when they had the oil in the water and then they put in the Alka Seltzer and they explained why that was happening. So use that knowledge and help to help you answer why you believe this is happening. Madison? Why do you call it the Dead Sea? Oh, we're going to be talking about that. That's another one we're coming up on. So hold that thought. All right, does anybody need more time with the raisins? Bless you. the best observation. All right. If you are finished with raisins, you can move on to how do you like your eggs. Oh my gosh. I like my eggs. I'm just going to pull them out. So Madison, you just let us right into our ne next problem. So we have two beakers of water. One of them is tap water. The other one is, what do you think this is? Salt water. Salt water. I didn't get it dissolved, dissolved fully, but. All right, so I have two eggs here. When I put the eggs into the water, and they're both the same, came out of the fridge this morning, fresh eggs, what's going to happen when I put it into the water, and what's going to happen when I put it into the salt water? Okay, that is your prediction. Make your prediction. What is going to happen to the egg when I put it in the water, and then when I put it in the salt water? Our raisins are still dancing. We did this last year. Oh. And you probably put them in vinegar too. I remember your room smelling. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember that. And it was like so no, that more than vinegar. And you know like, what yeah. that tells you? What Oil. it's going to do to your teeth I remember. I remember when you that. drink like acidic stuff? Oh. Takes the enamel off your teeth. Yeah, and you feel the smell. So bad for you. Okay, are we ready? Yeah. So let's see if your prediction is correct. So okay. we're working on our observations now. What's going to happen? What happens to the eggs in the water? I know yours has a typo. <laughs> what happens to the eggs in the water? What, what so happens? egg in regular That's water. A big egg. Well, it's it magnified by water. Oh. 
Okay, so the egg it's and like tap water. Okay, it's at the bottom. Okay. Anthony, you should be filling this out. I know your head hurts, but. Okay, yeah, are you guys? Yeah. I'll wait for you, you want me to wait? Good. Good? All right, egg and salt water. I'm going to raise it for you. you. Throw an egg in the water. <laughs> egg uh, and salt I water. I close that because of all the waves. It's right up here. Well, like, it, it, it might not sink all the way. No, that's just because of the salt water. Oh, yeah. Mmm, good question. And you put water. Okay. I will answer that question, but not till Monday. When we the way talk I knew about it the would float is because of Stranger <clears throat> Things when they put L in the water <laughs> in the gym. All right, so we have our observations. The egg and tap water sunk. The egg and salt water floated. Remember, we're re relating this all back to density. What is the density of water? One. One yeah. grams per centimeter cubed. So if the egg sinks in water, what does that tell you about the density of the egg? Yes, Ryan. The egg is denser. The egg is more dense than the water. If the egg floats in salt water, I'm not going to have you guys answer this one out loud. <laughs> if the egg floats in salt water, what does that tell you about the density of salt water? <laughs> so technically, you could stack these cups and you could see it. Dang, that's scary, stacking these cups. You just build this. That's scary. So it would look like this. And if, if I poured water into salt water, it would just mix, right? Mm -hmm. But if we were to visualize it separated, this is what it would Yo. look like, right? the egg would be in the middle. Wouldn't that be cool to be able to see that? Something floating in the middle? Well, let's do that on Monday. Okay. So on Monday, you guys are actually going to create um, layers. Layers. Okay. So something to look forward to on Monday. On uh, Monday. Ugh. All right, questions on this one, or do you need more time on the eggs? Nope. Everybody in the back okay, or do you need me to hold them up again? All right. You guys good? Yeah. Okay. For my prediction, I said that I would roll his eyes. <laughs> I think this little guy is so cute. <laughs> He's so cute. All right. For our last one, I wish Bobby. I had a... The soda? He's on the edge. One that's more clear. Sure. But just soda. whatever you do, don't kick the desk. Okay, I won't. What? Because that's what you're hanging off. Yeah. Oh, thank you. The Coke. Okay. I just see, like, if I'm going to have the turn, you can see, like, how many Yeah. All right, so this next one is called Bobby Can. We have two different Cokes. One is regular Coke. One is Diet Coke. Both of these are water. Okay, regular water. Your prediction should talk about what is going to happen when I put the Coca-Cola Classic in the water. And then what is going to happen when we put the Diet Coke in the water. We're going to observe what happens and then I want you to explain why you believe that happens. When I see eyes, then I'll know I can put the pops in. I see some eyes. <laughs> what eyes? You okay, Anthony?
If you're really that Are bad, you can lay your head down and I can send you the video. Okay. You really know. What is the the new Coke that came Coke out? Coke, and Coke, like, Coke, Coke Zero? No, it was like, it was like, it was, like, it was, was 19, like, yeah. empty or something. And there's, like, another Coke. Oh, it was was, it, was it clear Coke? Or there, there were all different kinds of Coke. Because there was the Coke, this Coke, and then there was like a different one that they yeah. made. And they said everyone hated it, but there's like some people that didn't. I know, whenever they change it, everybody like, well, people that like Coke don't like it when they change it. All right. Madison, question? Is Diet Coke made with like Fake sugar? Diet. So I don't want to answer that question because it'll kind of give some stuff away. So you're still, um, I'm not going to answer that yet. I will answer those questions. On Are they both okay. Water? Regular Coke is going in. Got to make sure there's no air bubbles under it. Okay. So regular Coke is at the bottom. Okay. So you can make your observation. Coca-Cola Classic is at the bottom, it sank. So again, relating it to density. Density of water is? One. One yes. grams per centimeters cube. So our Coca-Cola would have Coke, a higher Coke. or less density. Think of it that way. Okay, Diet Coke, here it goes. I'm gonna try not to get the air under the can. I knew it, I knew it. The Diet Coke floats. Pretty sure we all did. Have you ever had a Coke float? Mm. Um, yeah. No. Well, when we were oh, on, oh. Root beer floats are better, but Coke floats are good. When we were on a um, boat in a lake, my dad told me to throw him a beer, and it sunk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so what does that tell you about the beer? That's so cool. It was really the bad. dense. Yeah, it has more dense. It's more dense. Okay. <laughs> so explain why the cans react this way. Why does the one can sink, the regular Coke sink, and the Diet Coke float? Why does that happen? Anthony, do you have a question? No. Okay. Don't answer. Now we need to find one. All right. When you are finished with that slide, I'd like you to go back to the ice, the first one. I think that's slide two. Our raisins are still dancing. Slide one. Oh, no. yeah. Slide two. Is it slide one or two? Slide two is the raisins. Oh, okay. All right, so the ice melted in one of the cups. And the ice did not melt in the other cup. I'm going to show it to the camera first. Okay. It melted in the one on the right. It did not melt in the one on the left. If you look at the one on the left and you move it, you could see the liquid around the ice. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove the ice. In that one, so you guys can see. If I can get it out without sticking my hand in the Okay, so what I want to show you guys. Uh, that's what I'm going to show you. So I'm going to show the video and then I'm going to shut the video off. So if you look at this, you can see a layer at the bottom. There's a layer. Why is that and what is that? There's a, a 